Infrared radiation covers a massive range from about 700 nanometers all the way up to several hundred thousand nanometers. This range is divided into three main sections, near infrared, mid infrared, and far infrared. If you're wondering about these names, it's simple. The infrared radiation with a wavelength closer to visible red light is called near infrared and those with longer wavelengths are named mid and far. The basis for this naming system is the visible red light. Near infrared, NIR, is in the 700 to 1000 nanometer range. This section is very much like red light and is even used in some low power lasers. Water molecules absorb very little near infrared. Its wavelength isn't suitable for strongly stimulating their vibrations. Therefore, near mostly passes through tissue and has a high penetration depth, sometimes several centimeters. Consequently, it doesn't generate much heat. This is why red lamps or near-red LEDs don't create significant warmth. This characteristic makes near incredibly useful in medicine for imaging, low-level laser therapy, and deep tissue penetration. Mid-infrared MIR, is in the range of 2.5 micrometers to 10 micrometers. Water acts like a sponge in the face of these wavelengths, absorbing almost all the energy. In the mid-infrared, the photon wavelengths perfectly match the vibrational modes of water molecules. Your skin fiercely absorbs these photons. Intense absorption means rapid conversion of energy into heat. This is why mid-infrared has a very low penetration depth, Almost all of its energy is absorbed right near the surface. The heat you feel from a furnace, a fire, and even the heat radiating from a human body mostly comes from this part of the spectrum. This is what creates our everyday sensation of warmth. Far infrared, FIR, is in the range of 10 micrometers to one millimeter. Water acts like a sponge in the face of these wavelengths, absorbing almost all the energy. But this intense absorption leads to low penetration. The heat remains in the superficial layers of the skin. A practical note, this is why FIR saunas, despite claims and advertisements, do not create deep heat. Their effect is superficial, not penetrating. Enjoyed it? Tap the link down below to watch the full video on the Icarus channel.